In the previous video, we have shown you how to create this trial control uh, charts and also after deleting the points out of controls, those have assignable causes. And then we have come up with this uh, revised chart. And as you, can, as you can see, the point number one was out of control and point number 17 was out of control. And they had some assignable causes and we deleted that to create this revised control charts. Now, this video, we're going to show you how to do the capability analysis. So this is called the capability analysis. Uh, now, um, as you can see, we are doing this for normal distribution data. So sometimes it's called capability analysis for normally distributed data uh, or um, normal distribution uh, normal distributed data or simply capability analysis for variable control charts uh, when we do uh, attribute control charts this will be more clear why it's called variable control charts now uh, let's copy all the information from the previous uh, um, revised control charts because the capability analysis is based on the revised control charts so i'm going to copy all of them i'm not going to create that again um, now so the formula that we're going to be using for the capability control charts let's delete those formulas i don't need that just for the visual it doesn't matter if i have that now the formulas that i need for capability analysis i'm going to copy that so for the centered process this is the capability formula as you can see right there i copied so if the process is centered then um, this is the formula that is used um, now in this case for example uh, my students uh, exam taking time uh, the uh, the specification limits um, i did not uh, use um, this specification limit yet now these the gray lines the top gray lines is the upper control limits and the yellow line is the lower control limits let's create the specification limits so this control limit remember that one is control limits another one is a specifications limit so control limits comes from the data However, the specification limits comes from the customer or in this case, um, I'm, deci I'm, uh, uh, I'm deciding what would be the spec limit for this. Now, uh, imagine that I want my students to finish the exam between, um, say, for example, uh, about 40 minutes to 55 minutes. So my upper spec limit is 55 and lower spec limit is say 40 minutes uh, for a 50 minutes exam so that is my limit for example i want my student to finish them within 40 and 55 minutes uh, if i plot that to data select data and then add two more um, charts for that so i'm going to add the upper spec limit like that one and then I'm gonna add the data that's so gonna go from 55 to, to it's difficult to select that way so what I'm gonna do is just move the chart right there so I can select so what I'm gonna do is I will add two more uh, charts with this so select data and then add uh, the line upper spec line and select the data this one and add um, so that's done and then add another series the lower spec limit uh, this will give me an idea how am I doing with respect to this um, assigned time that I thought uh, good for that particular exam so uh, let's fix this uh, the axis otherwise I'm not gonna see anything any kind of variation nothing starts before about 40 so what I'm gonna do is just to keep that 40 and then 
so um, the 40 is the let me just have one more point say 41 oops let's say 38 it will give me a nice looking graph maybe 39 is really nice so as you can see so these are my spec limits so my control limit that comes from the data now what happens now if i calculate the cp values as you can see the cp uh, my spec limit i'm going to type the spec limit here u uh, upper spec limit that is uh, 55 minutes and then lower it specs minutes lower spec limit is 40 minutes and then i want to calculate that cp the process capability uh, index for centered process so that is the formula equals so i'm going to type equals parentheses and then 55 minus 40 close the parentheses i don't want to do 40 what I want to do, I want to select these cells in case if I uh, use another number, this thing will be automatically calculated. Do not type any number in Excel. Try to use the cells as much as possible. Now divide by six sigma. So if you do that, six times sigma. So that is the process capability index. Now it is recommended that if the capability is uh, more than um, 1.3, then it is good. Uh, if it is less than 1.3 then further investigation needed so that is the process um, capability index however um, let me show you something uh, this in these examples uh, the middle of these two number is the the middle midpoint of the upper and lower spec limit is let's check that so that's the average of the two number this two number so that's 47.5 now if you can see my process is not 100 percent centered um, 47.66 uh, which is a little bit off center to the right uh, so my data is not 100% centered so if the process is not 100% centered then, then another type of capability is used which we'll explain in the next video